I gave an introduction, but you already know a lot about American Needs Pharma. So, um, you, you're um, basically this is what we do. Uh, we're volunteers, full-time volunteers, uh, and our goal is to spread the message of pharma. Um, so we do this by bringing the statue uh, to homes. That's our main way of doing it. But we also uh, do a lot of publications. So we uh, we do the Jacinta book uh, to put it in a format. Um, for children, because uh, when Jacinta, after the, after the apparition, she wanted to explain to other children what she saw, so uh, what we simply did is took her story and, and put it in a, in a colorful book for, for children. Um, so that's one, that's one of the ways. We also do a book. Uh, we only did a book uh, about six months ago, probably our fourth edition, on Fatima, and that's a very powerful way of spreading the message of Fatima. Uh, we also do our bi bi-monthly magazine, which you're probably f familiar with. I actually have a couple here, but I'll give that Um But they're not all the same. Um, but the American Eats Fatima is only part of a larger organization called the American uh, defense of tradition, family, and property. So we defend those three values. Tradition, family, and property there. Uh, because those three values are like this uh, projector stand here. We have three legs. If one of those legs fall, then society falls too. So the more that we try to preserve these three, the better structured uh, society is. So we do that in several ways. Tradition, we defend traditional marriage uh, in particular, which has become very, very um, important. And uh, you've probably heard about California and Florida. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. They're all having a marriage amendment. So uh, what, what the TFP did is they sent a van load of young men out there. And uh, I had the privilege of going with them. We gave out these flyers. Probably close to a million people um, got our message. And basically, because the main tactic of, of the homosexual agenda, did you want one? Um, was um, it, is they put a lot of emphasis on, on sentimental reasons. So a while ago we did a book that's advertised on the inside, just taking apart all the arguments, all the main arguments that they use and a couple more. And, uh, but on the street we summarized that into 10 reasons. Um, and it was very, very successful. Majority support in both California and Florida. Um, but it was, it was, it was difficult. Uh, we spent, we spent uh, times and you know sleeping on homes, on floors, or in KOAs sometimes. Oh my! Uh, uh, we, uh, but it was great because people were they just several times they stopped in the middle of the street, came over and said, "Where are you going for lunch?" And we were like, "Well, we were kind of stuck for that." But they said, "Okay, well, you're coming to my house." And just it was immediate like that. And it almost seemed that when we bought material for lunch and, or dinner, that, th that they did come. But if we didn't buy stuff, then people would come. So, uh, yeah, and we got invited by, by uh, students onto Berkeley University in San Francisco. And, that, and we were like, you sure, Berkeley? Yeah, I'm and, yeah. Uh, and they said, no, believe us, there are a lot of conservative students on Berkeley, which they were. Wow. So we went there. We have a large red flag. Uh, with tradition, family, property on it that we raised, and uh, we we definitely got a lot of students coming. Now, homosexual did form and organize. Uh, they took some of our flyers and burnt them in our faces. Uh, we we uh, we had a box of flyers uh, that they stole, probably about 1,100 flyers. They 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 stole a box. We're like, uh oh, <laughs> where's our box of flyers gone? And then they brought it over to this recycle bin and lit it on fire and put all of our flyers in. So, but I think, it, um, you know, Our Lady used that opportunity to spread it even more because we didn't know, but it was uh, first day of classes. So the, the whole uh, center gate area, you know where you see that, that gate, most postcards of Berkeley, was all for the students and they were joining clubs and things like that. Well, these fire, the fire truck and police had to come all the way through that avenue, just pushing their way through the crowd. And of course, everyone, just everything, every single student saw us there and, wow. and received one of, of our flyers and got the message. Wow. And uh, <laughs> a group formed uh, with signs, no on Prop 8, but uh, 
uh, you know, there were students, like one student, he was on a bike, he rode into the middle of them, and they were shouting gay pride, he said, gay pride is a joke. And they were just like, what did he say? He's like, I have the right to say that, it is, gay pride is a joke. And for students to get courage wow. uh, to say that on, on campus, especially Berkeley, is really impressive. Um, so we, we went around uh, to all the major cities in California, and the same in Florida. Um, we had signs like honk for traditional marriage, that way we got people on the, on the street to, to join in, to make a decision. Uh, so we just had continuous honking all the time when we were on the street corner. Um, but we weren't new to that. We, every Monday, uh, the TFP has a part called Student Action. And Student Action goes to a university every Monday and presents an issue. And we all know, anyone who's been to university knows that there's certain rules with university. You don't talk about morals, you don't talk about religion, you definitely don't talk about abortion or same-sex marriage being wrong. Mm -hmm. um, so what we do is we go there and we break the ice, we break those rules, and we get t students talking about it. And, uh, and it really, really works. Uh, sure, first time we might get a lot of abuse, people burning the flyer or such, but after a while, there's a group of students there that we meet that keep on coming back to see us. And we've started pro-life groups like that on campus. Uh, we give out these flyers that are printed on a piece of paper. One of our favorite ones is 10 reasons why abortion is wrong. And we say, look, this is easy to do. Take our content, you know, just photocopy it and give it out on campus. It's easy to do, you could do it too. Um, so we do that and, and uh, it, it's great. It works, works every time. Uh, sometimes it doesn't look like it works, um, but, but it does. In Arizona State University, we were there in Arizona uh, because they also had a ballot measure on it. Uh, we were giving out information, the same, the flame uh, flyer, and uh, I, I was on the side, I had a camera taking pictures, and this car came up, rode down the window, this fellow put a pesticide bottle out and just hosed, started hosing people down. So, but I was there to take, I probably took about eight pictures of him while he was whipping by. I took, took several pictures of him. Um, but that shocked a lot of people. I bet you anyth uh, every student on that campus learned about these people talking about traditional marriage, that they got assaulted, the police were there, those students gathering around. Those students that wouldn't have had a position that came up and said, is everyone okay? I'm really sorry, you know, students aren't like this in Arizona. What are you giving out anyway? Let me take some of those, you know. <laughs> that's the way that's it works. Yeah. So, uh, so that, that's uh, how we deal mostly uh, on a college level. But we also have uh, a lot of apostolate with the youth. So uh, if, if you were in the Rosary Rally in Harrisburg, you would have seen the St. Louis de Montfort Academy. It's a school that the uh, organization runs, uh, grades 8 through 12. Um, I had the privilege of gra uh, graduating from that school. My brother is in that school now. It's a boarding school for boys. And uh, that school also sponsors uh, summer camps. So we have a summer camp in Pennsylvania and we have a summer camp in Louisiana and now starting one in California. And the reasons why we have uh, summer camps is because unfortunately, a lot of boys when they grow up, they're as heroes, they, they look up to soccer players or rock stars and things like that. But at these summer camps, what we try to do is give the boys a true hero. So we pick a theme where Catholics were persecuted, but where heroes ro rose up to save the day. So one of the themes last year was Charlemagne. He saved Europe from the Moors. He's a great Catholic hero. He united Europe and, uh, and with the help of the Pope became emperor. Before that, we did Saint Ferdinand in, in uh, in Spain. Uh, before that we did the Cristero Martyrs in Mexico. Uh, so we always pick these themes where we have Catholic heroes that rose up and, and said, look, we're Catholic, we're not afraid to affirm our faith, and, and we're going to do so. Um, in, in America, um, uh, unfortunately, we have groups like ACLU and stuff like mm -hmm. that that say, you know, you're Catholics, okay, just keep it, keep it to yourself, keep it in your home, keep it in your church. And we, get, we, uh, we teach them, look, uh, we're Catholics, we're all Americans, we're very patriotic, we have the right to affect society uh, as, as such. Uh, 